Hello and welcome to an FPGA Vision video. In this video we have a look at training and normalization of our spiking neural network. Source code for the project is available on GitHub and uh, the design and uh, development work has been done by a student of our university, Mr. Niederberger. First we start with training and that is very similar to training you saw in our earlier video lecture. So we're using Octave and uh, training data to optimize our network. We use a training image that combines a yellow and a blue road sign. And we have an image with the labels. Blue is indicated by white with all pixels having RGB values of 255. Yellow is indicated by gray with all pixels having RGB values of 127. And background is indicated by black with RGB values of 0. And we see that the training data has ambiguity. The road signs also contain some black and white markings. The code has been adapted from the earlier version because we are not using a sigmoid activation function but relu. And after training you get the parameters for the neural network. Now we do a second step, normalization. And uh, the idea is to get a better dynamic range of our values in the network. In the previous version, we had been using 8-bit values, so 256 values. And uh, now we have a frame with 64 cycles, so a lower resolution. Um, therefore, we want to make better use of the dynamic range. There are two ways to perform normalization and um, we are using data-based normalization, which means um, that we take the values of a test image of our training data into consideration. Here we see what is meant by that. If you open the test image in Irfan view and uh, you make a click with the left mouse, you see the RGB values. So let's investigate our test image you see that bright values, the sky is uh, nearly the maximum of the potential range of um, nearly 255. But dark values, black values, are not using uh, the full range until the value zero. And this is used by normalization. Normalization is programmed in Python. We used the Anaconda environment with the extensions NumPy and OpenCV. The parameters from training are copied to annmodel.py. The code is again provided and normalization takes some time on your computer, but after a while you see the results. The Python script also generates the output of the spiking neural network with the normalized parameters. And you see that there is a certain noise that some values are not classified correctly. And this is due to the random generator used for generating the spikes. We have 64 cycles and classification can be improved by using more cycles. For example, 128. This is something that you can investigate. The result of normalization is stored in a CSV file and you can open it as a text file or as a spreadsheet and uh, use the parameters for implementing the design on an FPGA. And this is what we will have a look at in the next video. See you there.